Welcome to the TechBond Molecular Bonding Systems 1-2 Fixed video on how to bond or repair silicone rubber. Silicone rubber is one of the most difficult polymers to bond. One key reason is that silicone rubber is flexible and often needs to stretch. Typically, glues and epoxies are not flexible. In this 1-2 Fixed video, we will bond, then stretch, silicone rubber tubing, these two silicone rubber pieces to each other. And finally, we will bond silicone rubber to a polyplastic piece. We will make all of these bonds by using the poly bonding process. Our patent pending process is the only solution for bonding or repairing polyplastics, copolymers, and polymers. To bond silicone rubber, you need the basic poly kit, which consists of a structural adhesive, usually our SI Blue, our activator accelerator, and our poly prep, an adhesion promoter for polyplastics and other polymers. You'll also need a step-by-step -step set of instructions. We will start with the tubing. Before bonding, always make sure that the edges are clean. First, saturate both edges with the poly prep and let that dry. The poly prep dries the oils on the poly surface and etches that surface. Our poly prep is solvent based, so it dries quickly. It is critical to then spray one end of the tubing with the activator accelerator. The activator accelerator intensifies the chemical reaction necessary to generate a bond. Let the activator accelerator dry completely. Next, we will heat both ends of the tubing with either a heat gun or a hair dryer. You want the tubing warm to the touch. Now we will apply a thin layer of our SI Blue, our standard viscosity structural adhesive, to the opposite end from where we just applied our activator accelerator. You can use the nozzle as a paintbrush to make sure you get a nice even coat on. Align the two pieces and press firmly for 10 to 20 seconds. Use the hairdryer or heat gun again on the seam for 15 to 20 seconds. Now for the square silicone rubber pieces. First, saturate both surfaces of the silicone rubber pieces with the poly prep. Let the poly prep dry. Remember, the poly prep dries the oils on the poly surface and etches that surface. Our poly prep is solvent based, so it dries quickly. It is critical to then spray one piece of the silicone rubber with the activator accelerator. This intensifies the chemical reaction necessary to generate a bond. Let the activator accelerator dry completely. Next, we'll heat both pieces of rubber with a heat gun or a hair dryer. You want the pieces warm to the touch. Now, 
Next, using our SI Blue, our standard viscosity structural adhesive, we're going to apply a thin layer of this to the opposite edge that we just applied the activator accelerator. You can use the nozzle as a paintbrush to make sure you get a good even coat. Align the two pieces and press firmly for 20 seconds. Using the hairdryer heat gun, we will aim it at the seam and heat it for 15 to 20 seconds. Now we are going to apply a piece of silicone rubber to a polyplastic piece. There are many manufactured items where the silicone rubber is attached to plastic. This is how you would repair any part of the silicone rubber that comes loose. First, saturate both the silicone rubber and the polyplastic piece with the polyprep. Let the poly prep dry. Once again, the poly prep dries the oil on the poly surface and etches that surface. Our poly prep is solvent based, so it dries quickly. It is critical then to spray one of the surfaces with the activator accelerator. In this case, we're going to spray the poly piece. This will intensify the chemical reaction and the chemical reaction is necessary to generate a permanent bond. Make sure you let your activator accelerator dry completely before moving on to the next step. Now we're going to heat both surfaces with either a heat gun or a hair dryer. You want the surfaces warm to the touch, not hot. Now we will apply a thin layer of our SI Blue, our standard viscosity structural adhesive, to the silicone rubber rectangle. Remember you can use the nozzle as a paintbrush to make sure you get a nice even coat. Then apply a bead at the edge of your rubber piece. And then a crisscross through the center. Align the two pieces and press firmly for 20 seconds. Using the hair dryer or heat gun on the two pieces, heat it again for 15 to 20 seconds. And you're done. If these two pieces were glued, it would be easy to peel the silicone rubber. But these two pieces are bonded and there is no peeling.
as you can see, the tubing stretches. And the silicone rubber pieces stretch as well. Silicone rubber in any form only stretches like this if the bonding poly process is used. Please check out our 1-2 fixed video library on how to repair your car part or any other broken item in the home, shop, factory, or office. If you have any questions on your repair, please call 877-565-7222.